what else I want to do just in case this YouTube shit don't keep going? What else would I want to do? And the only thing that I want to do other than YouTube is make music. Mm -hmm. so I was like, okay, let me just go ahead and take this shit real serious. So I hit up um, Famous Dex yeah. at the time, and I um, paid him $10,000 for a feature. Lettuce, right? That's the <laughs> yeah. song? Yeah. And then he, I put up to the studio with the money, gave him the money, shot the video right then and there. I went home, edited the music video. And I uh, uploaded that motherfucker, and then it got like 400,000 views in an hour. Okay, so let's go back to the feature with Famous Dex. Was that the first feature? Yep. So you paid him $10,000, mm -hmm. and out of your own money. Yep. This is very interesting, what makes your journey just so different from a lot of other artists, because, you know, a lot of other artists, when they're coming up in the game, they know people that they want to work with, but it's like... If you're not signed to a big label or if you don't have $10,000, you probably won't get any features. Right. So what was it like or how do you think from your perspective your career has been different because you came into it with money? I was just able to fund certain shit. Like it was no limit on how many music videos I can shoot. Yeah. It was no limit on how much marketing I wanted to do. It was just no limit. What's good, y'all? Hey, so back with another video. Hope y'all doing well out there. Now, as y'all heard inside this DDG clip, he was talking about how he spent 10K on a feature with Famous Dex before he started rapping for real, for real. He was still doing YouTube. YouTube started going downhill, and he had $10,000 that he paid for a feature with Famous Dex. The reason I want to talk about this is because I know a lot of people be like, they don't know what their purpose is. They don't know what their passion is and stuff like that. They don't know what business they want to start and stuff like that. And I just want to share this with y'all because you never know when you might find your purpose or your passion or a business idea may come to you. And right now, in the meantime, you should be stacking your bread up, making as much money as you can, building your income as much as you can. So when you do find your purpose, your passion or a business idea come to you that you want to really get serious on, you could just have some money that you can invest into it and basically give you like a push, you know what I'm saying? It's basically something I wish I knew sooner in my life. So, you know what I'm saying? When I was smoking weed every day for like seven years, I got the videos. If you're new to my channel, check out my quitting weed videos. But, you know what I'm saying? When I was smoking weed every day with no goals, no purpose, no long-term mission and stuff like that, if I would have just been stacking my bread up, by the time I really got serious about making YouTube videos, figuring out my purposes and stuff like that, I would have had so much money to invest in it. And you know what I'm saying? Whether it's promotion, marketing, advertising, stuff like that, or just buying equipment like a ring light or a camera or a mic. You know what I'm saying? If I would have did this sooner, then it would have been a lot helpful to me when I did find out my purpose. So I'm just saying all that to say this, if y'all right now, y'all smoking weed every day or whatever the case, you don't know what your long-term goals are, you don't know what your purpose is or your passion is, in the meantime, just stack your bread right now. Stack your bread, increase your income as much as you can. So as soon as you find out that purpose or that passion or that business idea did come to you, you can just have plenty of money to just invest in it and really just go all out on what you really want to do with your life. You know what I'm saying? So that's something I wish I would have knew sooner in life. And DDG just reminded me that in this little clip, bro. Y'all check out the full interview down below in the description. Shout out to DDG, man. Keep going, bro. I like your music and I like your YouTube videos. So keep doing your thing out here, bro, and inspiring people. Man, y'all comment y'all thoughts down below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe if you're new. I'm holla y'all in the next one, man. Peace out.